Welcome. All right. Um, so now what I want to go over is how to multiply and divide rational expressions. So to understand multiplying, and dividing rational expressions, let's go back again to some fractions. Um, if I said to multiply 3 fifths times um, 7 halves, this would be a in fractional terms, fairly basic. When we're multiplying fractions, we just multiply across. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Everybody likes multiplying by fractions um, because it's a lot simpler than adding or subtracting when you have unlike denominators. And dividing sometimes tricks us up. The one problem we get a lot of times is students want to use cross multiplication. That only works for proportions. When we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So that's going to be 21 over 10. It does not matter. Um, it does not matter uh, when we, uh, if the denominators are the same or not for multiplying. Now, there's a couple rules with fractions that I kind of want to go over with you. Um, first of all, if I was going to look at a number and I say 5 divided by 5, that's going to equal 1, which we call the division property. We can also talk about that as a reciprocal. If I say 5 times 1 fifth, that is going to be called a multiplicative inverse, which is still also going to be times 1. So if dividing by 5 or multiplying by its reciprocal is going to get us equal to 1. But what I want you to understand is it's the exact same process. I'm getting the exact same solution. 5 divided by 5, 5 divides into 5 one time. 5 times the reciprocal of 1 over 5, right? Because you can write 5 as 5 over 1. When you multiply a number by its reciprocal, that equals 1 as well. So there's a couple different ways to look at this. Um, you know, for instance, if I had 1 half divided by 3 fourths, um, a lot of students, you know, if we look at it in this way, and you might say, I, I don't remember what to do. Well, to, when you have a fraction, the numerator and the denominator, um, a lot of times we call these complex fractions. If I multiply by my reciprocal of 4 thirds, I know that that's going to produce 1, right? But remember, by producing equivalent, equa uh, equivalent fractions, whatever we multiply in the numerator, we have to multiply by the denominator. So any number by its reciprocal, it multiplies to 1. But then I'm just left with 1 divided by 2 times 4 thirds. So what's important about that is if I have 1 half divided by 3 fourths, you can look at it as the same thing as 1 half over 3 fourths. And to finalize this problem, just make the reciprocal and then multiply. So in this case, we'll have 4 over 6, which remember, we can always reduce down to 3 halves. And reducing is going to become very, very important in this, uh, in this course. So that's at least the process of why we when, we when we divide, we multiply by the reciprocal. And when we multiply, we just multiply across. Now, when multiplying rational expressions, there's a couple things that become very important. One is simplifying and reducing. And the other one is make sure you can apply your multiplication you know, by using FOIL um, and so forth. And also looking to factoring to simplify this. Now, for instance, let's say I had a, a, an equation here of you know, x plus 1 times x minus 2 over x plus um, x minus 2 times x plus 4 times and then let's again do uh, uh, x, x plus 4 times 5 divided by x plus 1. All right. Now, you might be crazy looking at this problem and saying, oh, well, let me just multiply all these out. So that means you're going to multiply a binomial times a binomial times a monomial times another binomial. Then you have to multiply all three of these binomials as you can. So we're multiplying. The best thing that I tell you, I tell my students to look for is look for ways to simplify this. Look for ways that you can can't that you can divide out terms to equal to one. And what's nice about this, you can see my x divided by two divides out my x divided by two. Then when I multiply this across without multiplying my binomials, I'm left with five times x plus one times x plus four divided by x plus 4 times x plus 1. So rather than applying you know, FOIL to simplify that out, I can just see that the x plus 1's divide out and the x plus 4's divide out to 1, just leaving me with a simplified answer of 5. So always try to look for those opportunities. And those are going to happen a lot by factoring. Um, I'm just going to give out a problem. Let me see if I can figure, if I can get one in here. Um, if I can multiply one out. So let's do uh, x squared. Let's see here, uh, minus 5x plus 6. All right, 
And now let's do divided by. Um, divided by uh, x squared minus, uh, minus x plus, plus 12. No, minus 12. No, minus 12, yeah. OK. And I don't know. Let's do this over x again. OK? So if I was going to do this, again, we know that division. We can rewrite this. So it's going to be x squared. Actually, let's make this a little more difficult. Let's do x plus 5. Okay. So I have x squared minus 5x plus 6 um, divided by x. Now times the reciprocal of that, which is x plus 5, over x squared minus x minus 12. Now again, you look at this, you say, ah, I wish I could cancel things and things out like the last problem, but you can't. But what we can do is we can simplify this, rewrite it, so that it's written as a product of its factors. So I can factor in my x squared minus 5x plus 6. That's going to go as, as x minus 3 times x minus 2 divided by x times x plus 5 divided by factoring x squared minus x minus 12, that can factor down to uh, an x minus 4 times x plus 3, which is not what, I wanted, um, not what I wanted to have. So let's change this real quick. No, if I made that minus 3 and that plus 4, so it should have been a positive 1 plus x. Sorry, I'm making, up my, I'm making up my example as we go to prove a point. Um, but the whole purpose of that, you know, I go through a lot of these different examples. But let's pretend that was x plus 1. So therefore, I can multiply that, so that would be negative now. So if I factor x squared plus x minus 12, that factors down to x plus 4, x minus 3. The reason why I know I made a mistake there is because now, since I factor that, I see that my x minus 3s are now going to divide to 1. So then it makes this problem a lot simpler, where all I have to do is now multiply x, x minus 2 times x plus 5, and then divide it by x. And that will be my simplified version of my ra rational expression by multiplying and dividing. Thanks.